Hello there! In this video, we'll have a look at the extension Dynamic Access. This extension is available to you starting with an Evolve plan. The point of this extension is to display or hide content of our shop, depending on factors we can determine. Provided we already have an Evolve plan or higher, we can find the extension under Extensions, My Extensions. I already went and installed and activated Dynamic Access ahead of time. Next up, we'll probably want to take a look at the extension and its settings. We can find those in places we'd most likely show to specific customers or under specific circumstances, which is categories and products. Let's have a look at that and start by going into our categories. We can find them in Catalogs, Categories. For our example, we'll use the category Free Time and Electronics. What's different than usual is that here, in the General tab, we can find this option right here, saying Dynamic Access, which allows us to pick rules. Clicking on the drop-down, we might realize that these rules are from our Rule Builder. The rules we set here govern under which circumstances our current category will be visible. Instead of picking one of the default rules, we'll create a new one. We do this by clicking here, Create New Rule. Let's assume we wanted to have a category which is only available to customers from Austria. We'll name it Customers from Austria. We'll set a priority of 1 and skip the description. Next up, we'll get to the rule. We'll select Billing Address Country, Is One Off, and finally, Austria. After that's done, we can save the rule. Also, we must not forget to save the category changes we just made as well. In the last step, we only save the new rule. We can do this, as usual, by clicking Save up here. Let's check it out in our store plot. Looking at it, we currently see two available categories in our store up here, Home and Clothing. So far, so good. We set it up so that our free time category will only be visible if we got a billing address in Austria. As luck would have it, we have an Austrian test customer who signed up in our store. Let's log in as that one. Would you look at that? The previously hidden category is now available up here. Of course, it is also available from the home. Next up, let's have a look at how we can use dynamic access for products instead of categories. For that, we'll head back into our admin panel. As we're going to mess with products, we'll go into the menu Catalogs, Products. We'll select a product which is assigned to a category which non-Austrians can see as well. Let's go with our variant product. For products, the dynamic access settings can be found once we scroll down a bit to this section, Visibility and Structure, Dynamic Access. Everything else remains largely the same, so we can again assign rules or create a new one. For simplicity's sake, we'll use the same rule we created previously, meaning this product will remain hidden unless we got a billing address in Austria. We'll save that and done. Back in our storefront, we'll enter the clothing category and notice that currently we only see two products. The variant product appears to be missing. Even when we use the search function up here, we are unable to find it. Let's log back in as our Austrian customer. Next, let's take another look at our clothing category. And there is our variant product. There we go. So, Dynamic Access gives us the ability to hide or show categories or products based on rules we set. This means we could show content only for specific customers, for example, which is the most usual application for the extension. But we aren't limited to that. Another example would be to show a category called Sunday Specials only on Sundays. Or a specific product is only visible to loyal customers who have at least three orders placed. There are lots of possibilities. And with that, we just about covered what Dynamic Access does and conclude this video.